I've heard rumours that my two brothers are trying to have lunch without me. What's going on? What? <laughs> Hello, brother. What's up? What? Do you need some more space? I do a little bit, yeah. So what are you cooking, soft lad? What am I missing out on? I'm cooking the pork fillet from Pig Al. I'm going to season it up. I'm having a little play. Got some quinoa, some courgette ribbons from the garden. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of chilli, a little bit of miso, a little bit of ginger and some apple on there. So, what we're doing, we've got some garden courgettes which we've ribboned. We've got some quinoa on there. I pre-cooked the quinoa, but you guys at home, if you're in a caravan, just go out to the shop and buy some Uncle Ben's. You may, uh, I don't want to promote Uncle Ben's or anything, but it's easier. You know, you're camping. Make life a bit easy. But we've got a pre-cooked the quinoa, and then there have got a little bit of butter, a little bit of miso for the seasoning. That gives it the acidity and the salt. And then I've got some ribbon courgettes. You can use your spiralizer or anything. Courgette tagliatelle. We're just cooking that out nice and gently and low and slow. I'm just letting it, the flavors just ooh, ooze, ooze. So anyway, that's on, yeah? Over to the pork. The pork is from our friend Alan from down the road. And uh, the cross Gloucester all spots with, uh, what are they, Liam? Large Blacks. Large Blacks, cross Gloucesters. Yeah, he's got a couple there, hasn't he? Berkshire Cross. They are Berkshire Cross Gloucester Roll Spot pork, and these are the fillets. Fillets are great for camping, they're a cheap cut, and you can feed the family. Anyway, so our fillets, we've got our pan getting hot with the fillets. We're going to use a tiny amount of salt, but not a lot, because later I'm going to add a little bit more miso, which is quite salty anyway. Miso is just fermented soya beans, uh, with a little bit of alcohol in there, and a little bit of uh, uh, salt, just a as a preservative, really. A bit of rice in there as well. A little well, bit of rice it? in there. Yeah. Yeah. Just going to oil these up. We've got a nice dry non-stick pan over there. A little bit of oil, roll them in there, a bit more pepper, get the oil nicely marinating around. And I'm just going to add a little bit of our miso, I'm going to use our fingers, I'm just going to rub it in. Now you could do this at home and put them in the fridge once you put your miso on, overnight, or an hour before. But, because I want to do a nice quick meal for the family, you can see the pan starting to smoke, we've got our oil on our fillets, we slip them into the pan. The fillets are going to take about 15 minutes in total, uh, four minutes either side, and then you want to rest them. Why are you going to rest them? What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favourite gas, Mark? <laughs> On a serious <laughs> note, what brother do you prefer to cook for? <laughs> I don't like cooking dry, have you? So, Ellis, what does that Mace window do? Mace who? <laughs> Who's he? Mace, like miso. What does he do? What's he do? <laughs> Well, the miso miso is just a nice flavour to go with pork. You know, it's uh, you've got the acidity, the salt. Um, it's just a real sort of deep, savoury flavour. What does that table do? Just move pour them back. Yeah, well, I'm trying not to break anything, but I think it might go. Nate, hold on here, yeah. If we I might get ejected. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just slap me jaw out the window. It moved. It's definitely moving. You don't need this to save the food on, do you? <laughs> I, like, I, I think you should put the food on it and then let the food come up to us. <laughs> Be like, oh, oh. Shut up a minute, anyway. I'll we'll just put some uh, diced green chilli into our quinoa. I'm going to put some uh, of that apple and the, uh, and the ginger in there now as well. Carry on. <laughs> Is that a local apple, Ellis? <laughs> Local apple from Sue, the, you know, the lady who works in our uh, garden. Oh, from Apple Juice Sue. Apple Juice Sue, yeah. Apple Juice Sue. It's one of Where her apples. You? If you make a uh, puree with it, you know, it stays pink. It's clever. Go away. Ginger in. The only reason I'm putting this apple in is just for a little bit of acidity in there, you know. Put that, like, malic acid in the apple. Mm. So could you use a regular apple? You could use whatever apple you want, but I recommend the Granny Smith. Yeah. If you haven't got any of these pink ones, only because it's got more acidity, so you'll get more from it, doing it. You can see our, our pork's a bit nice, a bit uh, medium. Like when we press it, it starts tightening up a bit. So we just let them rest by turning it off. So what's it like to cook in a hair stream? Well, Liam, if you can cook, you can cook at the end of the day. What about breakfast? <laughs> I don't get the joke. You said that you, you can, can cook, cook at, at the, the end, end of the day. day. Oh, at the end of the day. I'll go and get some beer. We'll get some uh, Snowden lagers on the go. Because we're looking over Snowden. Have a little look. Have a peek. Cheers.
Easy is. Yeah, well. Nice one. Cheers. Right off the top of Snowden. That's quick. Oh. That's that's fantastic. El Dante. That is absolutely beautiful. It's good beer, isn't it? It's really good beer. Anyway, pork, yeah? She's got our quinoa ready, it's just been tickling over there. We've got our pork ready, I'm just going to carve a bit of this up. That's one for the chef. That's one for presentation. That's one for presentation. That's one for presentation. So even in a caravan, you can plate up a little bit fancy. You know, trim it up nice. Little blob in the middle, as the chefs like to do. A little bit of height. And just run it around the plate. We've got a little bit of lemon juice on there. A few little bits of parsley, which I don't have. But, hey presto. You've got a nice little meal cooked in a caravan. Pen jus is what we call it. Lads. Grubs up. Grub a dub dub. Two men in a tub. Oh, nice. Does it come in other sizes? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely view over there, eh? That's alright though, isn't it? Should we tell him it's good or should we just uh, <laughs> I think he should have added a bit of lemon over the top. Probably a little bit of yeah, lemon. Yeah, a bit, a bit of acidity, acidity yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's your birdie? Mm. Nice, alright. Mm. Oh no. What? Is that my beer? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, thanks for uh, coming over and making us share our food. I'm glad I invited myself. Yeah. Cheers, chef. Good day. Until the next caravan meeting. Arrivederci. Bon appetit. Ciao. Bye.